Pardon me, stranger. Could you spare a moment to help me? Well, it's a bit embarrassing, but... I was exploring the jungles outside of the village when I happened across a strange old man. He asked me if I would sit and talk with him a while. I pitied him, so I agreed. Afterward, he offered me this silver ring as thanks. And then he said the most incredible thing. He promised it would grant me eternal life. The old man insisted I put it on right away, and now it's stuck. I, I think he tricked me. I need you to help me force him to take the damned thing off. I'll handle it. Wonderful. Let's head to the clearing north of the village. This is a trap, I'm sure of it. No, I'm no coward. Let's find him. Yes, come here, boy, and I will fix what troubles you. What? How? What magic is this? No. <laughs> Who? What are you? Why did you kill this poor boy? We have struck no bargain, you and I. Leave this place. It is not for you. Well, it's a bit embarrassing, but I was exploring the jungles outside of the village when I happened across a strange old man. Wait, we've done this before. We've had this conversation. I... I watched you die. You have an interesting sense of humor, friend. Listen, I'm going to confront the old man who gave me this ring, but... I could use some help, just in case. Something strange is going on. Yes, I will come with you to the clearing, again. Wonderful! Father lost his hand in an accident. Welcome back, young man. Come, come to me. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Uh, 
then he's close. Yeah, and that old man, he is an evil spirit, possibly even a demon. He is trying to lure you into a trap. Spirit, demon, I don't care. He's going to take this ring back. Let's go. And do not touch that statue! been here before, but how am I? <laughs> very clever! Very cunning! I yield. Come then, if you are not afraid. I... Of course I am not afraid. I will make you show yourself. back to life without his memory. I need to find him. Pardon me, stranger. Could you spare a moment to help me? This seems impossible, but, but how else could I... I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. We confronted the demon, but were unable to harm him at all. If this is all true, we must find a way to destroy this demon. We should speak with Elder Suharti. She knows much about evil spirits. The demon's name is Beleth. Only one person I know of has ever seen it with his own eyes. It was your father, dear. What? Your father hunted Beleth. He had a sword blessed by the spirits, and with it, he struck at the creature. He wounded it, but it fled before he could slay it. My father was buried with that sword. Tian, there is something else. That ring you wear, 
It bears the same markings as the silver bracelet your father once wore. Quite well. I remember him as a precocious child who grew into a man who always followed his heart. He worked hard, but always had a smile and would help a stranger without hesitation. I am sure his spirit looks down on us now and is proud of his son's bravery. I was trying to protect him, to keep him far away from the demon. I knew if he knew the truth, he would never stop looking for justice. I suppose all my efforts were in vain. But Leth found him at last. tried to find a place of beauty for his rest. Father. You want blood spilled and bones broken. My father, he didn't lose his hand in a hunting accident. Elder Suharti said he once wore a silver bracelet that looked like this damned ring. He was tricked by Belen, the same as me. He must have cut his hand off to rid himself of the curse. Can you not do the same? Cut off your finger and free yourself of the ring. Belleth seems too smart to leave such an easy escape. Besides, this needs to end. I can't allow him to do this to anyone else. You really did choose a beautiful spot to lay your father to rest, Dion. Elder, what are you doing here? I looked through some old writings after you left. If Beleth tries to flee, you may be able to trap him if you inscribe the sign of a triangle with a rod of living hazelwood. I know exactly where to get such a thing. Thank you, Elder. I will see to reburying your father and administering his rights. Please, take care. Turn sour, Belen. I can see you recognize my father's blade. No, no, 
Keep that accursed thing away! No! No! Get out! He's trying to flee! We must chase him! <laughs> Pardon me, stranger. Could you spare a moment to help me? <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I know that joke was in poor taste, but laughing feels better than crying. I cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from that demon's trap. Seeing how many times I had fallen prey to his lies. My family. My father's memory. We are all free of Bella's curse. I want you to have my father's sword. I think it can do more good with you than with me. I think that's what he would have wanted. Thank you again for everything. I won't ever forget you. Well, I won't ever forget you again. 